All right, guys, we are going to get started. And yep, you guys get it early. I originally um, planned on it only like starting on the first, so we kicked off the year. However, if you're like me, you probably don't have very many plans on New Year's Eve. And um, obviously, a lot of us can't have plans. So if you're up for it, I'm going to be releasing a couple of videos throughout the day on um, New Year's Eve. So that we can actually put a positive spin on a totally cruddy year for most of us. And yeah, we'll just like send it off with a good with good vibes. How about that? And then hopefully ring in the new year with um, some just like new energy, if you will. That's my goal. So um, let me show you our first pocket that we're going to do. This is loosely based on a... Um, Patricia Veramonte book page pocket. And I say loosely because I didn't actually see the video. The video I watched was from a Stampin' Up stiletto. And I just totally randomly found her on Pinterest the other day. And um, she's got some really cute stuff. And that's where she said she found this pocket. So I'm going to go with that. And um, yeah. So anyways, let's, let's just get started. I'm going to give you measurements of what I'm doing. But again, with most of my pockets and stuff, you can totally adjust it to you. Um, if you, you know, if you have a smaller journal, then obviously make it smaller, kind of proportionate. But for this purpose, I'll give you the measurements I'm, I'm using, okay? Okay, so this piece of paper, and I'm going to show you um, several different sizes to kind of give you an idea of it. And we may do that throughout this whole process um, so that it really gives you a, um, some thinking juice for your brain a little bit, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I'm starting out with a 5 by 12, um, or okay, so 5 by 12 piece of paper. Um, and I just, yeah, 12 by 12, just cut it down into a five inch thing. So very first, you're going to uh, fold it in half. If you have a scoreboard and want to score it at two and a half, by all means, go ahead. Um, for video purposes, um, I'm just going to do uh, by hand here. And mine might be a little off and um, we can worry about perfection when it's going into an actual like journal we're either selling or giving as a gift. Um, so I would suggest having something to score down, um, cause sometimes these papers, oh, and this, it is paper, paper, like not, it's not, um, cardstock. It's just regular, regular scrapbook paper. Okay. So now that that's done, we're going to kind of guesstimate, um, we know that our journals are generally about, uh, eight and a half to nine inches tall, right? Or usually about our page is about eight and a half. So I want to stay under that and I don't want to go all the way to the bottom on this side. So I'm going to go probably two inches up. So that first fold line here, or I guess technically second, is going to be at the seven inch mark. Okay. I'm going to score that down. Okay. And I'm going to work on the first pocket. Okay. So this one here, I'm going to say, uh, what would that be? Let's let's actually do measurements up. So and it would probably go a lot easier if you did score if you got a little bit heavier of paper. I'm going to say this is going to be an inch and a uh, three quarters folded up. Okay. And again, you can adjust it to fit how you want it to look. This is just ballpark. So if we did an inch and a quarter or inch and three quarters on that side. Let's go ahead and do an inch and three quarters on this side just to keep our uh, our measurements right. And um, I will do my best throughout this whole series to give you measurements, okay? Um, if they're not in the description, I will try my best to give it in the video, okay? No guarantees. I'm human, guys. I will try. But as we go along, I may be getting so busy with making the videos that I forget. So um, feel free to give me a gentle reminder. Okay, so right now we have this, right? Okay, so we're going to kind of open it back up. And I'm going to take my little circle punch here. And I'm just going to cut a divot there so we can tell it's a pocket. Then I'm going to kind of go eyeball it up. And I want to put another little divot here. Okay. And I'm going to turn it around. 
so that I have my openings here, okay? Again, I'm gonna do this right here, only to where I can see it. Okay, now I kinda wanna put the thumb hole for this one up just a little bit higher, right? So I'm just gonna put it about there probably, okay? All right, so now we're gonna glue, well, at first I'm gonna ink so that you guys can really see where this is at because this paper could be a little difficult to kind of see on camera. I didn't really think that through. But it's one of those papers I don't think I'll use. I think it's cute, but I don't think I'll use it. That's why I'm using it now. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and ink here so we can kind of tell that there's pocket, give it some delineation. I'm gonna do the same here. Okay, so then we have this. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these little flaps here together to form the first pocket, okay? Then I'm gonna take this and glue here in here to glue the pocket up, okay? I'm gonna spin it around. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put glue not in the pocket, goofball. Okay, then glue this pocket up for the flip up, okay. Okay. Okay, so then we are pretty much done. Um, however, let me get out my paper here that we're actually gonna glue to. Okay, so you can use this in several different ways. Um, you can clip it with a paper clip. Let me grab, I should probably keep a stock of those by the camera here. So you could paper clip it, and then you have a pocket here, right? Oh, that's not smaller. So you have a pocket here and one here. Then you have a side one here. Okay. Same with this side here. You have a little pocket here and you have a little pocket back here and then you have a little tuck here. Okay. Now I think this is a little bit variation of what what is um, the original Patricia pocket is. The other idea I have for this um, I'll show you in the next one. So I'm going to leave that one just how it is, okay? Um, because I like this size for over the page how it is, okay? So let's make the second one. And it's going to be pretty much the exact same as the first one. We're going to make it exactly the same. Uh, only this one is six inches wide, not five inches wide. So it's still it's still 12 inches long. It's just um, six inches wide now, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and um, make it go to six again, right? Or no, two inches up, right? Isn't that what we, what we did? So it ends up being seven inches. I'm trying to use my lines, but don't know that it's absolutely necessary at this point on this one per se. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go the same distance again and kind of bring it up to the inch and three quarters here to make this little pocket. And scoring on your board may make a, a big difference as far as like any like buckling or anything like that. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna flip this one over and do an inch and three quarters again for our second pocket. We're gonna make it exactly the same as we did the other one. So I'm gonna probably be quiet for a second so I can just really kind of whip it out. Um, 
So again, I'm gonna come in here, do that, eyeball it halfway up, or you could put it way higher up. It's kind of interpretive, isn't it? Okay. We have those. I'm going to go ahead and just throw a little ink down in here. I'm not going to ink it up quite like I did the other one. If you have any long pieces you want to trim out, go ahead. Um, like I said, we're not striving for per perfection on this one. We're striving for the idea. Glue. Glue. So these can go, like this would be kind of almost a perfect little mass make because it doesn't take that long to make these. And I think you could probably decorate them up really cool. Okay. So the other idea I had on using this one is that we can then turn it in. So I'm going to slip it over the top on this side. I'm going to take my glue and glue here and here to attach it to the page. And again, you could do this right in the middle of the page or right at the edge. Wouldn't really matter, kind of just how you want it to look in your journal, okay? Glue it down. And now, instead of just the three here, now you have a fourth side tuck right here, okay? Okay, I'm gonna do that same process here. I'm gonna put the glue here and here. Okay, like so. And again, on this side, you have the back piece right there. Then you have a pocket right here. Pocket and pocket. Okay, all right, so same pocket, different uses. Okay, so those are the two ideas of attaching it that I have. Um, and let me show you a little bit different variation. I think this one is closer to the partition. Patricia, why can't I say that today? Patricia Veramonti's pocket. I'm going to take a book page. Um, so again, it's one of those things it, during this challenge, you use what you have. Um, I've heard some that say, oh, I'm going to use my three wing binder. Perfect. Use that and slip them into sleeves or what, however, glue them to pages like we're doing. Sky is the limit, whatever gets you to, to the challenge. Okay. Okay, so this book page is five inches, or just right under five inches, and um, eight inch, eight and a quarter. So I'm gonna do the same concept, only there's not gonna be a pocket on the flip side, okay? So it's gonna be exactly the same process. It's just gonna be way smaller, right? Because we're not using 12 inches. So I'm gonna bring this part down to the two inch mark. And we actually, we could. I think we just have to be careful on what we put in it. So, and I'm gonna eyeball this up since it's smaller. I'm gonna obviously go smaller on my thing here. Whoops. And we could, that's still okay. Okay, so that's kind of what it looks like with book page. And um, I don't actually know. And I think instead of making the third pocket, we're just gonna make one, okay? And, and I'm just gonna throw a little bit of glue in there um, just to change up the look of the pocket, you know? Glue that down, glue the two sides like we would before. We'll glue that up and then we can still use this other piece as like a tuck. Right? So we can still nip in there just a little bit. Like so. so let me throw a little bit of ink in there so you guys can see kind of where it's at. Because I know sometimes on camera it's hard to see those areas. 
so really this is one of those things you know and you really if you had double-sided scrapbook paper which I might pause the video and go grab some so that we can get a different actually I might have some plain ones right over here so I'll look at that in just a minute and then before I get too eager I'll go ahead and just snap that in there so we're we can see what we're doing here okay same thing I'm gonna end up just gluing that page together and then gluing it down instead of making that third pocket I think it'll make a big difference on how thick your paper is as to how much you how much you want in there if that makes any sense okay so same concept and I'm just gonna layer it in my book on top of the already paper clipped one for the idea okay Okay, so maybe this time I just flip them around. Nope, keep them the same. So just a little bit different, like just a little smaller, right? And um, I know that there's a ton of us that love little tiny things, so this would be a perfect little tiny thing, right? Okay, okay, so then what were we? Oh, a uh, double-sided scrapbook paper. Let's see how that would look. Um, I don't happen to have any right over here. So I'm going to pause the camera for just a second and I'll be right back. Okay. So I have a double-sided um, piece of scrapbook paper. And so it's actually going to be kind of almost maybe, I mean, it'll be the same concept, but just different case. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and fold it down like we've been doing. Well, I'm not going to fold it in half this time. So this would work perfect for the little strip things that we have. And this, this is actually like thicker cardstock here. Okay. And we'll go ahead and fold up that inch and a half that, or inch and three quarters that we talk about. Again, scoreboard for these kind of things so it doesn't crack would probably be ideal. Not a necessity, but ideal. Okay. Flip it over. Bring it up my inch and three quarter. And guys, some of these ideas I may have seen, but I may, like, I don't remember seeing them. Like, you know how ideas just trigger ideas? So please, if I don't mention somebody, don't like, or if you know of the create the original creator or you've seen something like it, please tell me so that I can give them credit. I think that's always important. Okay, so I'm just clipping corners here actually I was just thinking what if we did the opposite because it's going over the page all right so let's do that I'm doing an opposite here okay and I'll show you why in a second oh, so I probably should have well that's unfortunate <laughs> oh well all right so I'm gonna go ahead and glue really quick just these corner piece or the flaps up. Okay. Oh, that was part of the paper. I thought for a second one of these was a glue mark, like a glue thing. Okay, so we're gonna actually end up having to See, I guess, you know, you could use this in several different ways. Okay, so you could put it on your paper here and do the three again and make a large pocket here and have this pocket here. And same on this side, only you would have wanted to clip it up here for a pocket. Or what I was thinking, and I think I'm going to move these over to this side. that if maybe oh stuck in the other pocket there we go and then my original idea was to glue it down just like we did before paying close attention to which side our divot is on so that we're not gluing you know there and make that down on this side 
So then we would just have the two pockets, right? One here, one here. And then if we flip it over and pay attention to the divot, right? Where's our divot? We want to go opposite the divot. And here. Like so. So then again, we have here and here. And then, you know, if it's in a journal and you have this much space here, I mean, you could do a handful of things with that, right? Like you could, um, you know, you could, for instance, like put, you know, decorate it a little bit further and put some graph paper down there. Or you really could do an entirely other pocket, you know, um, you know, depending on how full you want it, you could do another pocket with like a big tag here, right? It's all up to interpretation in your own creation, right? Okay, so I'm going to call this video almost done, and I'm going to show you the original idea. Um, I added that secondary pocket, and again, it could have already been done by Patricia or even by this uh, Stampin', um, Stampin' Stiletto, I believe is her channel name. I'll put the original video down there in the description box. Um, most of those pockets I do kind of plan to make, so I mean whatever. Um, so that's, it would go over the page like so, and then there's just one pocket. And again, you could glue it for your tucks or you could, um, just paper clip it over the top or, um, you could even at that point stitch it and then you could actually use it as, let's see, let's actually get one that you could actually, um, like kind of stitch it down to secure it and then use this as like a, um, banner kind of tuck, right? Okay. All right. So just a little bit different idea. I am going to go ahead and put this one paper clipped in that area too, so that I kind of know where my original thing came from. Um, I'm not going to worry about paper or gluing that down, um, just in case I might need it later. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this very first episode and I will see you soon. Um, thank you for everybody who's participating, um, the creators and the subscribers. I think this is going to be amazing. All right. Love you all and welcome everybody. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.